you know, days, everyone asks himself, who am I and what am I doing and what my mission is? And the ones who are so confident to so-called know all and claim to know what's their purpose and never asking themselves what it is to me in a certain way. And they reflect arrogance, I think. A wise person is the one who is open-minded to learn from from any person, not the one who claims to be able to teach. The redemption that will take place will reveal the unconditional love of the Creator to all His children. And we will finally understand exactly what was the path and how the Creator lead us from day first of this creation till today, till the time of uh, of redemption. And um, something very important, very major to understand about the idea and the concept of the redemption is that the day of salvation, the day of redemption will be the day of cor correction, the complete correction of all the worlds. Now, what does it mean? The Creator created the world in kingship that is called Malchut Shaddai, the name of Hashem that is Shaddai, one of His names, His holy names, is Shaddai. And the sages explain that word, that name Shaddai, the name of Hashem, um, in a different um, verse, using a different verse, that the capital letters of the verse of the words in that verse are composing the word and the name Shaddai and the verse is Sha'amar Leolamodai that he said to his world stop means that he set limitation to his world we know that the creator himself he is eternal he does not have an end and his world obviously will be eternal as well because in eternity, in infinity, there are no limits, there are no borders. Just in the nature of the creation that He created for us, means for us to experience Him through the creation, He set limitation of time and space. For every person to experience the world in a certain time spot, that is the present time for each and every one of us, and in the space, in the place that you are at, where you are located. Now, every moment that we're experiencing in the present time, that is actually the only time that can be experienced, because also in the future, you will experience the future in the present time, in the future. And also in the past, you were not experiencing the past, you were experiencing the present time when you were at that point in time that today you define as the past. But actually the only experience that we have is the present time. And that is the name of Hashem. That He is the infinity, that He is the blessed existence. He is the present time. And we are experiencing Him under the limitation of time, under the limitation of the place. But actually all those time uh, fractions are all an expression um, of His greatness. They're all existing in the same above time time because you're experiencing them now, the world that you experience. You experience it now in the present time and its existence is eternal. What that you're experiencing, if you look at creation, if you see the nature of creation, you see definitely that the world is, is endless, that even though it's limited, if you go deep with a microscope or with a telescope, you go, and go to the highest levels or to the deepest and lowest ones, you're going to explore and going to find infinity. You're going to see the endless beauty of the Creator in every cell, in every flower, in every angle, in every fiber, every particle, every atom, and also situations and amazing um, individual supervision of the Creator on our lives, meeting people, seeing people, thinking about a person and exactly in the same time he's appearing in front of our eyes or whatever, all those amazing combinations that we are experiencing and understanding as the true nature of the Creator that reveals himself to us 
through his loving kindness but we're experiencing it in that limited time that is the nature of the creation that he set the world in kingship of Shaddai that he said to his world enough means that is the amount that will be enough for you to experience it and not more so we cannot see more times we cannot be in two places we have our place and we have our time that's the limitation now the redemption will be the correction of all the worlds the completion of the correction of all the worlds to every moment in time you can call a world this is my world now the condition of the world this is the world now in one hour that will be the world every moment is the world because the world is experiencing itself in that fraction of time but the real existence of the world is all those fractions all those moments that took place in all the worlds to all the people in all the times from all the angles of every cell and every particle in creation since the the early dawn the, the beginning of time since that every angle experienced a world her world its world and all those are the worlds there is my world there is your world there is my world today and my world tomorrow. Those are different worlds. Those are different angles and perspectives on the Creator's creation. And only the general observation of all those worlds together are the complete reflection of the Creator's light that is shining upon us. Now the redemption will be the complete correction of all the worlds. Means that every fraction on time will be redeemed means that you will experience the redemption in bi billions of different points, that you will be redeemed in the moment that you were born, in the age of one year, in the age of one year and two seconds, in the age of 15, 16, 17. In every moment you will experience the complete redemption. It will not be only a redemption of Oh, now I'm 43 and today the redemption is coming. Okay, so that draw 43 years old experiencing the redemption. No, the redemption will correct all the worlds and that will be um, the payback for all evil to be punished and to be rotten because also in all those time fractions that they committed evil, they will find themselves being punished for that evil like even billion times punishments complete punishments because every moment you have a free choice and your free choice is is who you are you did not choose the the world to be as it is it's the creator's creation he made the world he made that olive tree he made that fence he made everything to to, to look as it is and to be as it is it was not your free choice that the world will look as it is but your free choice is what to do with your time, what to do with your space, what to choose while you are visiting here on earth. And on the free choice, the person will be rewarded or God forbid, shall be punished severely um, for not revealing life and for spreading hate and, uh, and evil, God forbid. So keep it safe and keep it in mind that the Creator is about to redeem us all and to reveal His unconditional love, not only to one aspect of our lives, also to every break of moment, every break of time, every fraction, every spark will be uplifted and will be completely healed. And it will be a wonder. It will be much greater than all the earlier redemptions, even the greatest ones, the one that we experienced while coming out of Egypt. It was the redemption of that time. But in the last and third complete redemption, the redemption will correct all the worlds, means all the fractions of times and all the aspects of our lives from every ang any angle, in, in, in any um, perspective, um, shall be redeemed and all darkness in any aspect will disappear and go down the drain and, and will just melt out from the world and only the goodness will shine and will prosper eternally. May we experience that with joy. 
ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಅಂದರು